two injured in a I-43 rollover crash. Walker plans to stay involved in politics. Waukesha man stumbles into neighbor's home and passes out after New Year's celebration. These stories and more are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. Hello, I'm Maddie Pfister, and this is the first show of the new year at Community News Review for January 2nd, 2019. Investigators say a good Samaritan killed while helping at the scene of a crash on the Beltline was Lake Mills Firefighter. A vehicle crashed on eastbound Highway 12 Monday evening. Lake Mills Firefighter Chris Truman stopped to help, and another vehicle hit him. Truman died at a nearby hospital. Truman, 46, was a fire department captain in Lake Mills, and he had been with the fire department for 13 years. Police arrested the driver, and he is accused of homicide by intoxicated use of a vehicle. An Eclair teen is in custody after allegedly stabbing her ex-boyfriend. Police say it happened shortly after 1 p.m. on December 30th at the YMCA on Graham Avenue. 17-year-old Ashley Gadke is accused of stabbing her ex with a box cutter when they met up in a parking lot. Prosecutors say the two met in the parking lot to return each other's things after a breakup, and the stabbing happened after she questioned him about a new girlfriend. Police say the victim was stabbed in the head, torso, back, and face. Gadke forced him out of the truck and tried to speed away from the area. She is being charged with battery, disorderly conduct, reckless endangerment, and criminal damage to private property. Some are hoping that the 2019 will be the year that Wisconsin gets tough on first-time OWI offenders. During his campaign, Governor-elect Tony Evers remained open to the possibility of changing the law that currently allows first-time OWI offenders to avoid criminal charges instead of only paying civil fines. I think personally, law enforcement would be for a stricter penalty for first offense, and I think the legislature has looked at different avenues to proceed with different penalties, said Sergeant R.J. Lurkwin with the Dane County Sheriff's Department in audio obtained by WAOW-TV. The concern with increasing the penalty is an increase in the jail population, which Evers says also concerns him. During the campaign, he said if a first offense does bring jail time with it, he would like to see more programs put in place to allow those offenders back into society following their sentence. Outgoing Governor Scott Walker said he was not in favor of increasing the penalty, however, did sign legislation during his tenure that beefed up penalties for repeat offenders, including an automatic felony for a fourth OWI conviction. Two people suffered minor injuries after a rollover crash on I-43 on New Year's Eve. The Sheboygan County Sheriff's Department says a Jeep Renegade was northbound on I-43 near Garten Road in the town of Mosul when a driver lost control on the ice, left the road, causing a vehicle to roll onto its side. The driver was uninjured, but two passengers, a 20-year-old white law woman and a 4-year-old, were both taken to a Manitowoc area hospital to be treated. Firefighters from over a dozen departments were called out to New Year's Eve to fight a shed fire along Highway 57 in the town of Rhine. The Sheboygan County Sheriff's Department says the 911 call came in at 9.45, and the shed had tractors and vehicles inside. Scanner reports indicate one firefighter may have been injured due to the icy conditions on the ground at the time. Most firefighters had cleared the scene by midnight, and there is no word on what might have caused the fire. Outgoing Governor Scott Walker will not completely leave the political realm while he hands the position over to Democrat Tony Evers next Monday. 
In a message on Tuesday, Walker announced that he will be part of several organizations, including a speakers bureau that will provide new and exciting opportunities. Walker said he intends to work towards broadening our scope with an additional focus on returning power to the people in the states from a federal government grown out of control, adding that it is the best way to drain the swamp on a permanent basis. He also spoke of lowering taxes on the hardworking people of the state. Additionally, the Walkers intend to stay in Wisconsin, but did not provide details of where they would be moving once they vacate the governor's mansion, which has been their home since they sold their house in Wauwatosa three years ago. Walker did say that he and his wife, Tonette, will be working to re-elect President Donald Trump and Vice President Mike Pence in the 2020 election. A Waukesha woman had an unexpected start to her new year after one of her neighbors stumbled into her home and passed out next to her dog. Police say they were called to the woman's home on Cardinal Drive at about 5.30 a.m. on New Year's Day after the woman found the man passed out in her dog's bed. They interviewed the man and determined that he had no ill intentions. He simply had too much to drink at a party and stumbled into the home that he thought was his own. The man said he entered through the unlocked door before passing out. After he was questioned by police, he returned to his own home, which was just a few doors down. And finally, the winner of a million dollar Powerball prize sold at the Woodman's in Waukesha has still not stepped forward. Someone brought the winning ticket on, on the day after Christmas and there is no rush. Winners have 180 days to step forward and claim their prize because of the amount it needs to be claimed at the state lottery offices in Madison. And the store gets a $20,000 commission for selling that ticket. There was a grand prize winner in New York for the drawing, and that ticket is worth $298 million. The winning numbers were 5, 25, 38, 52 and 67, with the Powerball at 24. And that is all we have for today. Join me again next week for another recap of our local news on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV. Thank you.